Good morning, and today I'm going to fix this um, focus a little bit. Sorry, today is actually a review lesson, and this lesson is going to be on factors and factor pairs. So it doesn't quite match um, any lesson in our textbook, but it is preparing us for the first lesson, the first couple lessons of chapter two. So in any multiplication problem, we have a factor um, times a factor equals a product. So the two numbers that we multiply together, those are called factors, and um, the answer that it that those factors produce are call, is called a product. So for instance, if I have two times three equals six, um, two is a factor of six, three is a factor of six, and six is the product of two and three. So for um, our lessons coming up in chapter two, you have to be able to find the factors of a number. So let's start by finding the factors of 24. So one way to do this is to make a t-chart. And I'm gonna put 24 at the top because those are the factors that we are finding. And I find it easiest to start at the bottom. So start with the lowest number. So I know every number has a factor of one and itself. So one factor pair is one and 24. Then I think about two. Is two times something equal 24? And I go, yes, two times 12 equals 24. So two and 12 are a factor pair of 24. Three. Does three times something equal 24? Yes, three times eight equals 24. And if I'm having trouble with my factors, I can always get um, a multiplication chart to help. Or I may have to do some scratch work division on the side to see if three goes evenly into 24. Then I say, okay, four. Is four a factor of 24? Yes, four times six equals 24. And then I think about five. Is five a factor of 24? No. Um, factors, products of five have to end in zero or five, and that ends in a four, so that can't be um, a product of the factor five. Um, and then I get to six. Well, I already have six here. Six is a factor. So I know that I am done with all those factors of 24. And if they ask me to list them, I would list them in order one, two, three, four, six, eight, 12, 24. And sometimes they call this list the rainbow because you make little rainbow arcs when you connect the pairs. Let's try one more. Let's try um, 36. So let's make a t-chart for 36. And always, one is always a factor and itself. Sorry, I shouldn't have left that little gap there. Um, is two a factor of 36? Well, 36 is an even number. So anytime I have an even number, I know that one of the factors is two. Now, if I don't know two times what equals 36, I might have to do some scratch work over here and do some division to find out what the other factor um, that goes with the pair of two for two is its pair. So I would do just some division. Two goes into three one time. One times two is two. Subtract that. I get a one. I bring down my six. Two goes into 16 eight times. Eight times two is 16 and I'm done. So the other half of this pair is 18. So two times 18 equals 36. So I'm gonna put that right in there. And then I go, is three a factor of 36? Well, if I add these together, three plus six, that equals nine, and nine is a factor of three. So 36 must be a factor of three. So I'm gonna divide that um, or I mean, I'm, I know three is a factor, 
And if I don't know what it is, again, I would divide. And 3 goes into um, 3 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. And that's a 0. Bring down my 6. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. And so my factor pair is 3 times 12. Then I think about 4. Is 4 a factor of 36? Yes, 4 times 9 is 36. And 5, is 5 a factor of 36? Well, 5 um, products of 5 have to end in 5 or 0, and that's a 6, so no. Is 6 a factor of 36? Yes, because 6 um, times 6 equals 36. So now I have all of my factors of 36, and if I am asked to list them, I would do them in order from least to greatest. I don't list 6 twice. I only need to list it once um, because 6 is the same number. So I only list it once. And then again, um, I could do the rainbow. I'm going to do it underneath um, because my T chart's in the way there. And that is how you find all the factors of a number. Oh, I'm having trouble stopping. Here we go. Sorry about that. Thank you.